Welcome back to GMC Live Reviews. I'm Carl Thruff and we are talking sustainability and climate change yeah. with Sarah Scott from the Kilimanjaro Project. And um, we've touched on the basics of, of what you are achieving already. Yeah. Um, tell us more about the challenges. What's difficult? What, what did you have to overcome to, to get to this point of, of planting a million trees a year? Well, I think initially I would say one of the major challenges is the access to finance because people are not going to, they want to see you successful before they actually give you money. So I think that's... The chicken egg thing. Yeah, it's like, yes. okay, but we're doing it, guys. I am believable. So I think actions speak louder than words. And because I've been at this for one and a half years, I think, and I gave up my day job to do it, um, and therefore my income, and I've built a team around me, I think people have seen that commitment and that perseverance. Um, and that's actually led us to having our first major sponsor. We had um, TBL Group, uh, uh, Kilimanjaro Beer, come on board as our first main sponsor with $100,000, which is 100,000 trees. And I think having a brand like that come on board really validates us. It gives us an, an endorsement that's, um, that is believable now and we're showing that we can do it. So I think that, that's a big challenge. And then obviously mobilizing the community and. Uh, you know, I'm very, very glad we didn't raise a million dollars the first year and quite frankly that, uh, that we started smaller rather than, um, yeah. than bigger because we've learned so many lessons. So our first season, as I said, we're planting 160,000. From now we're able to scale because of the lessons we learned. We know now how to, to engage local district governments, how to mobilize people within the community. You have to, to get jump buy in from everyone. Yeah, well. you really do because as I, you know, it's Tuja Pamodia. It's like, it's a together thing. The sustainability of this takes everyone to make this successful. So I think that was, yeah, another challenge. And, and I think the challenge also to build a team with no money. So I've been really amazingly blessed with a team on the you ground. Always come eat with us. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> I know my mother. She <laughs> she fed me and housed me for a while when I was at the bottom of my barrel. And yeah. but you can't let that stop you. You have to like persevere through that. You have got to reach that tipping point. And I and I really believe that we're reaching that stage now within the project that we're reaching that tipping point. Mm. You know, Kilimanjaro is a mighty mountain. I often feel like, how can I fail? I'm backed by this mighty mountain that we want to that we want to have an impact on. So, but it's never a one person show, right? So this is not a one person show. Um, you know, we've got a, a general manager, an admin, mapping, now getting operations in, like, it is, it takes an army to mobilize yeah. and that these guys stayed on board and persevered through a time where we just didn't have any cash. Um, they, they were working heart and soul in this. It really helped separate those that have been really committed to, to the project and to the cause versus um, the, those that, ha that haven't. And um, so I feel, yeah, I couldn't have done it without these people. They would call me on some bad days when I was in Dar and they're like, Sarah, we need you, stay on it. You got to show up. You got to keep showing up. But uh, you know, you get tested. Yeah, and, absolutely. And, and you are through the worst of it now. Absolutely. Um, and yeah. you're putting trees in the ground. Absolutely. Yeah. And we've met with some of uh, the guys that work for you, and yeah. you've you've pulled in really public figures. Uh, yeah, in indeed. the Moshe area, entered. You've got a yeah. retired doctor that do some groundwork for you. Yeah, indeed. Um, and, and it's all about people wanting to believe that it's a pure concept yeah absolutely. And, and the moment that that is established um, yeah. and then it goes a lot easier from there absolutely it does so i'm looking forward to the coming the coming months and the momentum that is growing out of this to actually show that we've done it 160,000 trees and then from there we want to by the end of the year plant a million um, and then grow exponentially from there uh, millions of trees get cut down every year uh, in Kilimanjaro and 400,000 hectares of trees are being cut down in Tanzania each year. So our, our value and our goal is to also inspire a nation to plant trees. People probably don't know why trees are being cut down, but trees are being cut down in East Africa for fuel, for cooking. Yeah. Uh, and to Land clearance for agriculture. Yeah. So yeah, but uh, we'll overcome that challenge. If we, uh, you can cut down trees, but let's plant them. Yeah. <laughs> Keep planting. For one, everyone that's cut down, let's plant three. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. I'm Carl Free from GMC Live Reviews. I'm chatting with Sarah Scott from the Kilimanjaro Project. Uh, and she's to date uh, put 160,000 trees into the Kilimanjaro region and we're aiming for a million in 2018. Absolutely. We're going to do it. <laughs> Perfect. Carl Free from GMC Live Reviews. We'll chat to you soon.